Do you think you're ready to take the journeyman electrician exam? Most people walk in confident and walk out stunned by how much they didn't know. You might be the best electrician on the job site, but the state journeyman exam has little to do with hands-on experience and everything to do with your ability to read, interpret, and navigate the National Electrical Codebook under pressure. Hi, I'm Matt Jones from Ultimate Electrician's Guide. Today, we're breaking down what's really on the journeyman exam and how to prepare the smart way so you can pass it the first time. Let's get into it. The journeyman exam is the key step every electrician needs to take to work independently in the field. It's the test that gets you your journeyman certification, allowing you to work unsupervised under a licensed electrical contractor and take on more responsibility, better jobs, and higher pay. It's a major milestone in every electrician's career. In most states, you'll need around four years of on-the-job experience, plus some classroom training, just to qualify for the exam. Once you meet your state's requirements, you'll need to submit an application that includes documentation of your work history and training hours, a government-issued photo ID, and payment of the exam fee. If everything checks out, the state will send you instructions on how to schedule your exam. The journeyman exam is always a timed test taken on a computer at an approved testing center. You'll typically face around 100 multiple choice questions, and you'll have somewhere between three to four hours to complete it. The exact numbers vary state to state, but one thing is consistent. Most people run out of time. That's why being able to quickly navigate the NEC is absolutely critical. You'll need to score at least 70% to pass. So what exactly is on the journeyman electrician exam? While well, every state structures the test a little differently, some may have more questions, others may give you more or less time, every state bases the content of the exam on the National Electrical Codebook. The NEC is the foundation of the exam, no matter where you're testing. The good news is that the journeyman exam is always open book. You'll be able to bring your NEC codebook into the testing room and reference it during the exam. That means you don't need to memorize every single rule, but you do need to know how to find answers quickly and accurately. Now, before you dive into studying, there is something important that you need to understand about the NEC. A new version of the codebook comes out every three years. The next one, the 2026 NEC, is just a few months away. But here's the catch. Most states don't adopt the new version right away. Some lag behind by years. Right now, most states are still using either the 2017, 2020, or 2023 NEC as the basis for their exam. You can refer to the map on screen to see which version your state is currently using. But keep in mind, this might be outdated by the time you're watching this. That's why we've included a link in the description below with the most up-to-date version of the map so that you can be sure you're studying the correct edition of the NEC for your state. Preparing with the wrong code references is a mistake you don't want to make. Now, let's talk about the different types of questions you're going to see on the exam. There are two main categories. The first type is code lookup questions. These are designed to test how well you know your way around the NEC. You'll be asked about very specific rules or exceptions, things you would never memorize. The goal here is to quickly locate the article and subsection in the codebook to find the answer confidently. For example, you might be asked about the required burial depth for a specific type of conduit in a certain location, or the minimum working clearance around an electric panel in a commercial setting based on the wall material around it. The second type is code calculation questions. These go a step further. They require more than just looking up a code reference. They involve interpreting information and following a multi-step process to get to the right answer. You'll still need to know where to look in the NEC, but you'll also need to understand how to apply what you find. Some common code calculation topics you'll run into include conductor sizing, motor overload and overcurrent protection, box fill calculations, and opacity adjustments based on temperature or number of conductors. Now, real quick, if you're finding this video helpful, do me a favor, hit that like button so others can find this video. And in return for that like, I've got a gift for you. If you wanna test yourself and see where you stand, you can take a 100% free practice exam we've built specifically to simulate the journeyman exam. Scan the QR code on screen or click the link in the description below. You'll start by selecting your state and it will make sure the questions match the right NEC version for your exam. It's completely free, no credit card, no trial, just a smart way to test your knowledge and find out if you're really ready to pass the state exam. Now, in some states, you're allowed to bring your own NEC codebook into the exam. 
If that's the case, it can usually have tabs and handwritten notes, which can help you move through it faster and find what you need. But in other states, you won't be so lucky. You'll be given a clean, unmarked copy of the NEC during the test, and that's all you'll be allowed to use. So it's incredibly important to find out ahead of time what your testing center allows. If you're permitted to bring your own codebook, make sure you tab it in a way that makes sense to you and helps you move quickly. But if your testing center doesn't allow that, be careful. Relying too heavily on tabs while studying can become a crutch and it might hurt you when you're stuck with the plain copy on test day. Whether you're using a marked up book or not, the key is learning to navigate the NEC confidently and efficiently under pressure. Now, the best way to prepare for the journeyman exam is simple. Get your hands on a code book and enroll in a prep course that includes realistic practice exams. You want to drill over and over again. The more time you spend flipping through the NEC, the more confident and fast you'll become at finding the answers under pressure. Don't just read it, use it. Our top rated prep course is built specifically to help you pass the journeyman exam. In fact, over 95% of our students pass their exam their first try. And the best part is you can start it 100% for free. No credit card, no trial period, no strings attached. And if you decide to enroll, it's backed by our pass or money back guarantee. The guarantee is simple. If you complete our course and don't pass the exam on your first try, we'll refund 100% of your money. No hassle, no delay. We simply believe in our product. If you want to learn more and give yourself the best chance of passing, scan the QR code on screen or click the link in the description to get started. We'll guide you every step of the way. As we wrap up, don't forget to like and subscribe and drop a comment letting us know what state you're getting certified in. We'd love to hear from everyone and help you on your path to getting licensed. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.